Now, the reason I'm, I brought the Johari window into this game, because alpha males are concentrated exclusively in the arena part. They have good self-knowledge. They are totally self-aware and self-cognizant. And they share this knowledge openly, liberally, without fear, without anxiety, without inhibition, with others. What you see is what you get. This, is, this creates a foundation of trust upon which cooperation, collaboration, and even empathy can be established, not to mention good long-term relationships of all kinds, romantic, workplace, anything. The, the secretive guy, the strong silent type, that's not an alpha male. That's someone with serious mental problems. He needs help. Sharing is indeed caring in this case. Communication Communication, which is not intended to obfuscate, is not intended to eliminate or humiliate or compete or win. Communication that is intended to shockingly just communicate. That's the hallmark of the alpha male. The alpha male is alpha because he combines the strengths, the skills, the capacities, the emotions, the thinking processes of multiple people. He is one person, but he embodies and reifies hundreds, thousands, millions. And he doesn't do it via fear. He doesn't do it via inane and idiotic displays of super strength, perfection. He doesn't do it via uh, self-destruction, ostentatious self-destruction. He doesn't do it via recklessness. He doesn't do it via short-term strategies. These strategies work in the short term, but they are they end up in tears in the long term. He doesn't he doesn't use self-defeating strategies, short-term strategies. He has a horizon. He uses long-term strategies. These long-term strategies involve cooptation, cooperation, collaboration, resonance, empathy, holding hands acting as one, merger in the good sense, fusion in the healthy sense. Fusion, maintaining your autonomy and your independence, but in some areas of life and in some instances, becoming one with another in order to accomplish a common goal. And this is the essence of a healthy relationship, not becoming one with your twin flame, whatever that may, means. <laughs> But remaining separate and distinct, maintaining your autonomy, agency, and self-efficacy, even as you have a common area, like, a, like Venn diagrams, you have a common area within which you do become one, temporarily, goal-oriented, you do become one to accomplish more, because Crowdsourcing gave us Wikipedia, the encyclopedia that is thousands of times bigger than, than Britannica, the Britannica, and as accurate. So these, these people, this power in multiplicity, when we join hands, when we collaborate as a species, it, it is then that we accomplish the greatest feats, monuments, to our ingenuity. Cathedrals in Europe were built over hundreds of years, 100, 200 years sometimes. Generation after generation after generation had continued the work. They were not hell-bent on impressing anyone. The result didn't matter, the process did. The process did, and alpha males are focused on the process, not on the outcome. They are focused on the journey not on the destination. They know if the process is right, if the path is well chosen, if the Tao is there, if the journey is well planned in advance, the destination and the goal are inevitable. They are accomplished automatically. And this is the difference between alpha males and losers pretending to be winners. These very losers who are online, in politics, elsewhere, pretending to be winners, 
and all the losers who vote for them and all the losers who follow these gurus and coaches and what have you, they actually identify the loser in the men they follow or the woman they follow. They resonate with the losing aspect. And they, they, they tell themselves, if this loser has made it, if he had become a business coach, if he succeeded to become the president, if he, I mean, if this utter unmitigated failure of a wannabe man had made it, so can I. It's reassuring to follow a loser. It's reassuring to follow a better male. It's, it's very challenging to follow a true alpha male. The true alpha male is confident, calm. He has inner peace. He has composure. He has integrity. He has real empathy and you feel inferior in the presence of an alpha male, male if you don't have an inner core, if you are a narcissist, if you are a loser, if you are a psychopath, if you have mental problems, I mean, you feel inferior. Alpha males make the wrong kind of people feel inferior. So these kind of people, the riffraff, flotsam and jetsam of society, they prefer to follow losers because they can identify with these losers they don't feel challenged they don't feel inferior no one feels inferior to a loser even when this loser happens to be your leader your guru your coach you don't feel inferior you feel you're on equal terms you people want to feel on equal terms now the, the alpha male gives you the, the feeling that you're on equal terms but maintains leadership and only healthy people can cope with this. Only healthy people don't feel undermined by the alpha male. So you will never find alpha males surrounded by losers, uh, mentally ill people, broken, damaged people, people with who are aimless, people who are, you know, stupid. Is it politically correct to say it on YouTube? You will never find these people around an alpha male. Never. And this perhaps is the way to identify. Look at his followers. Look at the, his, his employees. Look at his family. If these people are healthy, happy, work to collaborate, smiling, goal-oriented, enjoy life, etc. And they are around the central figure. That central figure is the alpha male. Okay, I hope I made my point. Uh, to remind you, these are university lectures. So, you are welcome guests to listen, but you're not my main audience and not my main target. So, please know your place. And this is not a self-help community. So, don't post personal stories and questions and so on. I will delete them. This is an academic setting. You come here to learn. If you have questions about the content, if you want to make intelligent comments for a change about the content, you're welcome. And I welcome such contributions very much. I learn from them. But if you're here with your soap story, uh, with your inane narcissistic displays of grandiosity, I mean, go away. Simply go away. You're not welcome. Thank you.